Hello everyone, my name is Lachlan, I write for Money Morning and I'm also an analyst on Exponential Stock Investor. Today I've got my pink llama mug with coffee in it ready to go, so let's dive into it. Today I'm going to be talking about cobalt. So you can see here the IEA's, uh, that's the International Energy Agency's projections of future demand in two different scenarios for cobalt through to 2030. So you can see a large uptick in forecasted demand there. And I'll just draw your attention to the US Geological Survey's cobalt fact sheet. So in the US, about half of the cobalt consumed is used in super alloys, which is mainly in aircraft gas turbine engines. So the other thing to know about cobalt is that about 70%, 60 to 70% of cobalt production comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo. And there's some serious concerns about, I guess, ethical sourcing of cobalt. And that's played out in Tesla's plan to ditch cobalt. Uh, Musk has previously flagged the, I guess, ethical dimensions of cobalt supply. And there's another article here. That one was from oilprice.com. There's another article here on Forbes, which is about Tesla shift to cobalt free batteries. And then I guess there's a technological development in the works. And this is another Forbes article about um, a specific type of lithium ion battery called lithium iron phosphate battery, called a lithium iron phosphate battery. So this would be a cobalt free battery and uh, yeah, this is in the works for Tesla. But in the immediate future, I don't see cobalt demand, I guess, disappearing. And I'll just show you a couple interesting things with regards to cobalt. So as you may know, in 2017, 2018, there was a significant spike in the price of cobalt. And subsequently, if you zoom in on this chart, there's been a little uptick in the last couple months. And this is actually flowing through to the share prices of some ASX listed cobalt players. Um, so the reason this could be happening is because of the following. And I'll just draw your attention to a couple Bloomberg articles. So here you have China plans to buy 2000 tons of cobalt for strategic reserve. It's got a nice little chart there showing the uptick in cobalt prices. And this is because China's sort of stocking up on things ahead of its next five year plan. And this plays into our supercell thesis about commodities being potentially used as a hedge for inflation in the coming years. And that's uh, all part of the special report, which you can find the link to in the video description. So that's the supercell thesis, which is a big part or growing part of our portfolio at Exponential Stock Investor. So I'd really encourage you to check that out. It's a fascinating idea and it may sound contrarian, but if you look at history, it's actually a relatively stereotypical view about commodities. It's just that the market may not have woken up to it at, at this stage. So back to the article on Bloomberg. So what they're doing is, is buying up certain commodities as part of this next five year plan and uh, that's sort of the geopolitical dimension to commodities you need to be aware of as well, particularly resources and I guess mining products like cobalt. So let's dive into three charts I've got for you today. So this right here is the AUZ uh, share price chart, which, um, sorry, I keep drawing lines. Um, so as you can see, there's a downtrend here. Um, and that's all the way from 2017 to 2018. And it's sort of picked up recently. And there may be some support here at about 1.5 cents based on recent trading. And Australian Mines Limited, they have this huge project called Sconey in Queensland. And it's yet to get off the ground, but I think the recent uptick in cobalt prices could be one of the main driving factors between uh, behind this uh, recent change in the share price. So another one to have a look at, and this is by no means an exhaustive 
uh, examination of ASX Cobalt players. So I apologize to the enthusiasts. But here you've got Cobalt Blue, which has a similar chart with to AUZ um, in 2017, 2018. And it subsequently entered a significant long-term downtrend. And recent upticks in the Cobalt price might have driven this period of the chart here but it's fallen off significantly in the last month. Um, another company to keep an eye on if you're interested in cobalt is Gervois Mining Limited. So they've got a project in Idaho um, in the US. And as you can see, same, same idea here, 2017, 2018, huge spike. But it's, uh, it's picked up quite a bit recently. And um, yeah, it could be one to watch if you are interested in cobalt. So that's all I've got for you today. Um, cobalt, as we know, is a big part of the EV future, at least in the short to medium term. We'll see how the Tesla move plays out. And I guess I just draw your attention to the article, which is also in the video description. It's, uh, it's about a five minute read and it's a great way to get reacquainted with cobalt or learn about it for the first time. So, Yep, check out that in the video description and I hope you have a safe weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.